Yo, today it's Friday, May 7th. We're at the PG&E building. A buddy of mine asked me to come by, help him service this Planar DLX video wall. So he had a couple modules out, he said. We're gonna go inside, go check it out, see what we can do to fix it today. Let's go check it out. So check it out, that's a, uh, the Planar DLX2 repair kit. So you have this, <clears throat> this special tool to take these cabinets apart. So here we are taking off this first cabinet. There was a struggle at first because this has been installed for a couple years. We weren't the uh, initial installation company. So after a while, these modules, these cabinets like, like sit on each other. They start to sag. So we had to carefully figure out what the last guys did pop these open so <clears throat> we replaced the three modules that day two of them came right back up one we still had to service and actually send them all in for a repair so this is one of the top section we're taking that guy down this is playing ours like high-end led wall this is like uh, top of the line um, so here we are. we're taking this off we have to take the whole assembly off on the back to get to the modules now this screw right here was stripped out from the previous installer. So we had to drill the tip off, I had to go get a bit, drill that off just to take it apart. Now we are putting that new one on. Clips on just like that. So we, we couldn't put another screw back into that one spot because we didn't have any spare screws, but it still, it still sit perfectly flush. So it's critical you make sure you plug all the stuff in tight. You don't want to put that cabinet back on and then have something loose and have to take it back off because these are too risky to be playing with, right, when you're taking them on and off. You don't want to chip something while you're repairing another thing. So here's Ben carefully adjusting the cabinet below and the cabinet on the right to get the Z-axis to make sure that that cabinet sits flush. Now here we are plugging into the bottom of this cabinet. We had to try to get into the calibration to see if we can figure out how to upload the firmware. We weren't the original installers. We didn't have the IP scheme. We were locked out and we're trying different combination codes, default comp IP uh, addresses. So since we didn't set up the system, we can't get a hold of the original vendor. These switches are managed. We can't get in. We can't get the IP address. We need to read and write some data from that LED wall, but we can't because everything's locked out. So the customer's okay with the two that we fixed that are just being discolored. Once he gets us access to those switches, then we're gonna come back and then recalibrate. But for, for today, he's happy, so we're gonna start cleaning up. All right, that's it. We got the three modules swapped. Two of them, we still need to color calibrate. We're locked out of the managed switches, so we gotta wait till we get access for that. We're gonna come back reprogram those and we're gonna ship the bad modules off back to Planar and then bring them back so they can have them on site. But man, it was fun. Thanks, uh, thanks Nelson for hiring us and I'll see you guys on the next one. So we ended up, Nelson ended up calibrating it himself. We, were, we did some remote login access or we remotely logged into his computer with tech support. It took over, we found the firmware, updated the firmware, modules came back on and we got that job done in time perfectly just for Nelson's uh, big show that they had to do in that uh, executive boardroom. But that was it, man. It was pretty good, it was pretty fun. Quick quick job, it was only like four hours, but uh, it's fun working on those type of walls, man. We're glad that we got to be part of that. See you guys later.